Okay, good news. Thank God I can finally stop saying an update should be coming because CS2 finally made a video on their Twitter about an update. That is confirmed now. We know it's going to happen. In just this 25 second video, there's a ton to dissect. So let me first just play it. Okay, first off, being able to put five stickers on an AK is absolutely insane. And obviously, complete customization of sticker placement might now be a thing, which is absolutely nuts as well. And really weird because it's so different than what we've had before. But next, obviously the background of this video is a completely new map. It's just a whole airport scene we got going on, possibly a new operation map. I mean, you'd like to think it's going to be as the next major is in a month. So it's not like they're just throwing in new maps to the pool randomly. And oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying it. Please, I hope it is a new operation map. I don't see what else it could be. Also, I'm so euphoric from seeing this video. I didn't even notice a couple things. These are new stickers as well, so hopefully those are tied in with the operation too. Who knows? But third off, what you guys might not have noticed is the audio on this video. It sounds obviously like a new music kit, which there is no way they're gonna just release a new map, these new updated sticker placements, and a new music in one update, that'd be really weird. So hopefully a new case is gonna come alongside that as well. But if you have a bunch of junk in your inventory, Skins Monkey is a great place to get rid of it. Not only do you get a free $5 bonus on your first trade when you sign up with that link in the description, you can also get a 35% deposit bonus while depositing with cash, crypto, or any of the other methods. And even if you don't want to trade, they have free daily giveaways to enter as well. Thanks to Skins Monkey for sponsoring. Once again, link in the description. And okay, good news, the update is here. It's not quite an operation, but it's definitely leading into what should be one. We've got arms race, custom sticker placement, a new case, stickers and music, which I'll show you guys in a second, and then gameplay update as well. So we do get the Kukri knife, which we've, I mean, the devs have been hinting at for like a while. It's been in the game files forever. Here's the Kukri knife, of course. It has those OG skins, the fade, the case art, and all stuff like that. The slaughter, really nice looking. Oh my lord, the AK inheritance looking good as well. The op chrome cannon, have to see that in game, but it looks cool. Also, Zeus skins, I think there's only one, but the Zeus Olympus is pretty sick. M or M41S Black Lotus, then we just got a bunch of random purple and blue skins. The Block 18, okay dude. Yeah, there's a ton of cool skins in here. Not bad at all, and Kukri Knife is obviously nice too. Also, now the Zeus apparently gets name tags and stickers and recharges in 30 seconds in all game modes, so very reliable weapon we got right here. And then we got stickers and music kits as well. Six new mu music kits and a ton of new stickers, which I'll show you guys in game in just a second. I'm just kidding, I will not do that because it will not even let me update my game yet, but you'll be able to see them in a little bit. Also, apparently they want to change XP a little bit because as they say, when you have earned all of the normal weekly XP and have entered the reduced XP gain, you'll gain something to show off for it. An XP overload icon will appear next to your name in your profile, the scoreboard, and kill feed. And you'll have at least one week to show it off for every week you keep your XP earning streak live, your XP overload icon will upgrade. So I guess you don't gain more XP, but you get an icon the more you play, which is interesting. And then we have the Agony of Defeat. So for your custom agents, you're going to have unique end of match animations that now express both the thrill of victory and Agony of Defeat, just some quality life stuff. And then, of course, Arms Race, Baggage Shoots. They don't quite have Danger Zone yet, which is interesting because they said in their update, excuse the bare hands, which was a thing in Danger Zone. So maybe it's a precursor that another big update is coming soon. I don't know. This does seem kind of small. So who knows, but it's a good step in the right direction. Also, there's a ton of stuff regarding gameplay, different maps, different sounds. It's all just really quality life stuff and not anything specific I have to go over. But specifically, I will go over networking just because they reduced Peeker's advantage, which was a huge issue in online play. And the amount of Peeker's advantage in the steady state is reduced by 16 MS, which might not seem like a lot, but it's definitely a big issue in CS2 and was one of the biggest issues. So they're still fixing quality of life stuff and then obviously there's a ton of map changes as well tons of stuff with collision which was a big issue as well just running into like random stuff that wasn't there fixing various gaps invisible boost like on nuke which was a big issue as well that was anubis but down here you guys know the whole quality of life stuff everything's getting fixed up before the major and it's a good update to see but yeah as always if you guys enjoy be sure to check out skins monkey for that free five dollar bonus link at the top of the description and i'll see you guys in the next one peace